Walt Disney's advice on how to become an expert in your field. When Stephanie George started taking yoga lessons, it felt like one of the worst decisions of her life. She knew she wanted to be flexible and healthy as much as possible, but she didn't know the cost was going to be much. If she could barely bring herself to perform her daily routine successfully, how did she intend to help those she had thought she would coach? Now, this wasn't getting interesting anymore. Perhaps, I should get rid of this extra weight so that I can be lightweight enough to build my flexibility, Stephanie thought to herself one afternoon. It was becoming frustrating. Every other person was getting each lesson easily and practicing it seemed like an effortless task. I was the only one who just couldn't get it right. It was quite unfortunate that she was the biggest person in her class. I wanted to give up, Stephanie said. One morning in class, as Stephanie bent to pick her kit, she noticed the figure in the mirror. It was her figure and for a brief moment, she stared hard at the image in comparison with the rest of her classmates who were practicing their routines. It was at that point Stephanie knew there was nothing that her classmates did that she couldn't do if only she started practicing as hard as they did. Pioneer of the American animation industry, entrepreneur, voice actor and film producer, Walt Disney once revealed the secret to becoming an expert in any field. In this video, I'll share with you one of Walt Disney's advice about how to become an expert in your field. This, I believe, will help you to become a successful person. If you are new here, consider subscribing so you won't miss other interesting videos like this. According to the film producer, whatever you do, do it well. Do it so well that when people see you do it, they will want to come back and see you do it again and they will want to bring others and show them how well you do what you do. Let's bring it back to our environment and what goes on around us. Take Instagram for instance. When you stumble on a person of interest on your feed, most times you go further to check their profiles and details. If you are impressed by what you see, you go ahead to follow that person for regular updates on what they are up to. However, if you are not interested, you close the page and move on to other things. Do you know the difference between both scenarios? With the first person, you were impressed with what you saw because they have shown you a level of expertise that the other person didn't. You see, unlike the second person, the first person has mastered his craft well enough to impress you which is why you were impressed enough to take further action which is following them. According to American author Robert Greene, mastery is not a function of genius or talent. It is a function of time and intense focus applied to a particular field of knowledge. To succeed in any field, you have to master the craft, learn and execute consistently until your expertise becomes obvious to everyone. Whatever you do, do it well. Do it so well that when people see you do it, they will want to come back and see you do it again and they will want to bring others and show them how well you do what you do. How to become a master in your field Mastery requires time, effort and determination. According to Albert Einstein, only one who devotes himself to a course with his whole strength and soul can be a true master. For this reason, mastery demands all of a person. The end product, however, is success. 1. Choose a specific goal Be specific about your goal. For instance, I want to be a gym instructor or trainer. It's too broad to be a goal. Instead, consider something like this. I want to be a yoga instructor or a weight loss coach or a fitness instructor. These are more specific. That way, you can measure your progress easily and catch up in good time. 2. Watch and learn To learn something, you need a teacher. It could either be formal education or informal. Whatever the case is, you have to be ready to learn from a mentor and an instructor. Pablo Picasso said, Learn the rules like a pro so you can break them like an artist. 3. Practice To practice your new craft, break your task into smaller goals. For instance, if you want to learn how to speak a language, 
you can start by learning the important pronouns such as I, she, he, we, they, and the likes before graduating to full sentences. Break the big plan into smaller plans and practice until you can achieve excellent results with closed eyes. Remember, every little detail counts, so do it well regardless of how minute it might seem. Whatever you do, do it well. Do it so well that when people see you do it, they will want to come back and see you do it again and they will want to bring others and show them how well you do what you do. 4. Seek feedback, especially from mentors. The thing about asking for feedback, especially from a master in that field is that not only will they identify your errors, they will also help you correct them. Mastery comes from stepping out of your comfort zone, failing, taking risk and being willing to be taught as you continue to try and learn how to do it better, faster and simpler until you no longer need 100% support from others to produce an excellent outcome. 5. Teach Now, you have become an expert in your field. What next? Teach others. You see, teaching others means teaching yourself and opens you up for more challenges that can bring out the best in you, especially when you've got students who are pretty intelligent. Remember Stephanie? After taking a long look at her image in the mirror, she determined she was going to be one of the best as far as yoga is concerned. She gave herself to continuous practice and learning. Today, Stephanie is a yoga instructor and has trained well over 200,000 students across the globe. Her company is worth about $100,000. Guess what? From being a master of yoga. How did she do it? It's simple. Whatever you do, do it well. Do it so well that when people see you do it, they'll want to come back and see you do it again and they'll want to bring others and show them how well you do what you do. Thank you very much for watching our videos. We'd like to give you another interesting video for you to enjoy next. But before then, our team will be very happy if you can like this video and share it with your friends on social media. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss other interesting videos like this. Look at your screen now to see two other videos we handpicked for you to enjoy next. We love you.